All right, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to give you five tips to becoming a nurse entrepreneur. And since I've been down this path, I've developed a course. You can look at the course down below if you want to do nurse entrepreneurship, or if you want to uh, just do a coaching call and schedule that, the link is in the description below. But we're going to get into the five tips to nurse entrepreneurship. And I'm going to talk about kind of the mindset shift and things that, that, that have to take place first before you begin that entrepreneur journey. And let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So number five, mindset shift. The mindset shift is one of the biggest things as far as nurse entrepreneurship goes because you have to you have to switch your mind from thinking that you're getting paid from a uh, you know having a steady paycheck and you have to look more of different income streams. And that's one of the things that kind of grew organically for me in my business was the different income streams that I was able to generate, whether it was COVID testing, whether it was insurance billing, whether it was insurance physicals, drug testing, whatever it, whatever it may be, all those things that I built in my business uh, took place over time. And it was a slow process for me to get that mindset shift because I'd been in the hospital, I'd been on the floor, I'd been thinking strictly about, you know, mainly like, okay, I work, I get paid, right? I work, I get paid. And so that mindset shift is the biggest thing you have to go into. And you got to think of a mindset shift from different income streams and building things organically. Um, I think that the biggest problem that people have with that mindset shift at first is just jumping out there and doing it and kind of getting off of that, that kind of that, that seeking that comfort and that, and that comfort of always having a paycheck. I know it's hard and I know it's, one of the most difficult things you can do. But I think once you start to see that you can generate income in other ways with your skills as a nurse, and I tell people all the time, you should look at your skills as a nurse, as like a plumber would, an electrician or whatever it may be. You have skills as a nurse and you need to leverage those skills and learn how to get those income streams coming in from those skills that you have as a nurse. All right, number four is as you go down the nurse entrepreneurship journey, you have to look at all money as an investment. You know, I very rarely buy many things. The majority of the money that I make either gets reinvested into my business or other investment potential. And I think that it's important to understand that and have that mindset there that all money is an investment. And when you look at it like that, you start really thinking about what I'm spending my money on. Do I really need that new iPhone? Where can I put this $500 at now? Can I put this, instead of buying an iPhone, can I put this into a good good growth stock, right? Or can I invest something in the metaverse or an NFT or whatever, or back into my business? You start looking at money as an investment and everything that you want to spend your money on is, is an investment. Like when I buy my COVID test, right? I understand the return and the, and the margin that I get is an investment, right? So that's the biggest thing is look at everything in money as an investment. Everything should be an investment, even entertainment, you know, whatever it may be, you need to start looking, changing your mind and thinking about, okay, all money is an investment at some way. All right, guys, number three, I'm going to talk about flexibility and having an open mind. That's the number one thing. As I went through this process and went through the growth, growth over the past two years of my business, the main thing was the flexibility that I had to have within, within the business itself. Because I remember when I very, when I first started, the only thing I had in my office was a CPR class, right? And then I noticed, all right, well, I got to get some other revenue streams in here. I don't want to be teaching four hour BLS classes. And I mean, while the money is good, it's also very laborious, you know, when you spend four hours doing that, which is, it's still good and I still do it. Uh, but I'm just more strategic on how I do it now, now that I started adding services on. And, uh, and, and then I said, all right, well, I'm going to do drug screens, COVID testing, vaccines. I started adding these services on and I was real flexible on how I did it because I didn't get just tunnel vision and okay, this is going to be a CPR business, right? Because I didn't get that tunnel vision and, and just stuck to, stuck to my, uh, my ideology that I'm just going to be a CPR instructor. No, I started thinking about, okay, well, if I want to make money and I want to survive and I want, and I want to do well, uh, what else can I do? I have to be flexible. I have to have that open mind because if you start to look at things and that's all things in business because life is constantly changing, uh, business is constantly changing. Just because you're a nurse doesn't mean that the, the business aspect of healthcare isn't going to change. And so you need to just always have that flexibility, have that open mind, you know, and that's led me down more paths that, uh, I can't even imagine. Some of them is even funny. Like, 
like uh, one doing COVID testing for a TV show on TLC, right? And uh, things like that, you know, it's because I had this open mind and this flexibility allowed me to do so much and uh, look at other avenues that I never thought were previously open. So I think that that flexibility, that open mind is actually key to that nurse entrepreneurship mindset. All right, number two, guys, is probably the most important thing. And I can't stress this enough is you need to have an ownership mindset. Um, the ownership mindset is really something that is a concept that you need to look at everything you do, all of your intellectual property, all your work, because at the end of the day, the most important thing we have is time. We don't get it back. We don't get, we don't ever get that time back. Right? So when you start thinking about the work you do on the floor, if you work a 12 hour shift on the floor and you're not getting paid your time and you're stressed out. Is it really worth what you're doing? You know, and, and again, do you really have ownership of that? Do you really have ownership if you're, you're working for the hospital, especially as a staff nurse these days, getting paid? And let's just say you're a travel nurse, right? And you're a travel nurse and you're out there and you know that the travel nurse company is getting 30% and then the vendor management is getting another five to 8%. So, when you start looking at it like that and you look at it and you break it down hour per hour and you're like, okay, well, how much am I actually getting paid between taxes, between uh, all of this other stuff? What am I actually getting paid? You know? So I think you having that, that mindset shift again to an ownership mindset is key. I mean, you can kind of see the nature of that too right now in decentralized space and the internet. Uh, everybody is starting to value even their time, their data, since COVID happened, people are really valuing that a lot more. They're reevaluating that as well. Reevaluating the time we have here on earth is really, really important. And do you really want to spend your time slaving away in the hospital? And I'm not saying that that's bad overall. It's not a bad spot because you have to get experience. But at the end of the day, you need to be going towards a goal of ownership, right? Moving towards that direction of ownership is really really important and really key. And number one, the desire to be free. I'm a big believer in freedom, believe it or not. <laughs> and I think that, you know, one of the things that I think we all forget is what this country's founded on, right? It's founded on ownership. If everybody has a piece of something and they own something, they're going to care more about it. And, and, and that can also be said for the problems we have in this country from from uh, from a social standpoint, social problems to financial problems, not many people have ownership in this country anymore, right? And so that also goes back to, okay, well, do people really desire to be free or is there a, an equity problem? And all that's debatable. But what I'm trying to get at with you guys is that you need to have that desire to be free. You need to have that desire to push out there and, and push the boundaries a little bit. I mean, there's a lot more people out there that have risked a lot more than we have by going out there and starting a little nurse entrepreneur business, right? So if you're if you're on the fence about starting, um, you know, I would highly recommend you check out my course or give me a coaching call and I can kind of walk you down the path. Um, because I talk about this, the main thing that I want to get philosophically out there is that your desire to be free and that ownership mindset. That's the biggest thing I want to get, because at the end of the day, if you guys are still working for a corporation, whether that hospital corporation or that government, are you truly free or is that just indentured servitude at the, at the, at the end of the day? What is that? You know? And so I want to see you guys prosper. And again, it's not about just the money. The money is an aspect of it, but it's really about having freedom. You controlling the narrative. You controlling where you go and what you do. All right, guys, that's it for today. Have a good one.